What up YouTube, T-Movies here. Here is my review for the new horror reimagining film of The Invisible Man. Now, The Invisible Man is based on the on um, a classic, uh, you know, horror novel. I always keep forgetting it's based on a novel, by the way. But it also uh, was a uh, is also a reimagining of the uh, of the of the uh, film version um, that got released in like the uh, 30s or 40s. Now, this was supposed to be part of the uh, Universal Monster uh, Dog Universe thing, but that ended up getting derailed when films like The Mummy and Dracula and Toad, you know. Fought. I mean, heck, Johnny Depp was originally supposed to play the Invisible Man at one point. But then that the whole universe just got scrapped, and so uh, Blumhouse came to the rescue and uh, just uh, found like, a couple of change under the uh, you know sofas and was like, yeah, we'll make we're gonna make a uh, you know um, Invisible Man very cheap. That's what that's the thing about Blumhouse. You know their film, like they make their films really cheap, and the Invisible Man is no exception. Now there was probably some film like like uh, special effects that probably cost a little more, but anyway. Now you know the uh, what the story here is. Uh, you got Elizabeth Moss who portrays Cecilia, uh, who's who's in a uh, you know um, not so good relationship with uh, her. Um, husband, uh, you know, Adrian, played by uh, Oliver Jackson Cohen, and so he had, so she ends up getting away from him, and uh, he ends up, you know, come in, uh, he ends up, you know, kill himself, and then turns out that he's not really dead, he found a way to make himself invisible, and now is stalking uh, Cecilia every way, this, the invisible, now, 2020, like, the first star 2020, has not been kind to horror films, you know, we had The Grudge, uh, Fancy Island. Not the best uh, year for horror from so far. As of right now, The Invisible Man might be my favorite horror movie of the year so far. Obviously, it's maybe one of the best, like, only first great horror film of the year. But right now, it's, it's one of my favorites so far. This movie is amazing. You know, Elizabeth Moss, like, I I knew she was going to be great, but I didn't expect her to be this great. I know Moss was terrific every halfway. Oliver Jackson Cohen, you know, who of course uh, plays the Invisible Man, aka uh, also uh, Adrian. Ira, he was great. Uh, the one who plays uh, uh, Moss's uh, best friend uh, slash cop, uh, the act name is uh, Aldous Hodge. I don't know, he was terrific in his part. Uh, the girl from Euphoria and uh, Rick of the Time, uh, Storm Reed, was pretty great. I, I know this, this movie was also. You know, had some really good uh, bloody sequences. Like, this movie is actually pretty bloodier than you expected. It deserves its R rating. Uh, it does have, like, like yeah, it, does, it gets a little predictable, but man, the twist, at, like, towards the end, the twist is in this thing you did not see coming from my way. Again, there was some, maybe some predictable parts, but most of it, like, most of the tw twists I've seen here was, you know, was. Like, an Eminem Shumlin, a level twist. That's how, uh, twisty they were. And, yeah, and the movie also did have some jump scares, but they were all in good fun. You know, I thought the effects in this thing was pretty cool. Uh, I mean, heck, the movie actually even, uh, ended up with a, uh, like, leaving the film open for a sequel. So, could we get a sequel to this? Who knows? I mean, I know Elizabeth Banks is doing an Invisible Woman movie, so... I don't know, could that tie into this Invisible Man film? That would, that would be pretty cool. But uh, anyway, yeah, I thought this movie was really fun. It was, it really took itself uh, really gets uh, really seriously, and I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, this movie is probably even better than the original. Like, I've seen the original Invisible Man, and this is definitely probably my favorite. And it's probably even, and it's probably even better than the Kevin Bacon movie uh, Hollow Man. Remember Hollow Man, people? But uh, anyway, yeah, I'll say definitely go. Yeah, definitely go check out uh, Invisible Man if you guys haven't seen it. Really, definitely the first best horror film of the year. Obviously, that could easily change once Quiet Place 2, Halloween, and all that comes out. But uh, anyway, let me leave you guys. Uh, did you have a chance to check out The Invisible Man? If so, what you thought of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Timu signing off.